Right. Your head. Yes. Go. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Peterborough, New Hampshire. I'm Pastor David Mueller and uh, we welcome you to this uh, second Sunday of the Easter season. Uh, seven Sundays total, total in the Easter season so we continue to uh, celebrate with Easter hymns and uh, during this uh, coming Sundays we'll be focusing on the book of Revelation, our epistle reading for our uh, focus and sermons. Um, we are also switching today from uh, Divine Service Setting 3 to Divine Service Setting 2, which those of you that were here before me know very well, and it's the one that I know the least, so uh, I may be stumbling a time or two on the, on the uh, sung parts of the liturgy, so you guys just plow ahead without me if, if I get lost. So, uh, but, uh, uh, I think I think I did it a few times uh, the, those opening months when I was here, but it's it is one that I haven't done as much as the rest of the setting. So uh, just be forewarned. <laughs> so our opening hymn this morning, the first five verses of hymn 470. This is a neat hymn because it covers both the day of Easter and a week later, which it would be today. Uh, uh, in terms of the story of Jesus and the various disciples and when they found out about the resurrection and when they believed about the resurrection. Uh, so we'll hear about that in the gospel reading today. Uh, first five verses, 470, O sons and daughters of the King. Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, for those of you following in the hymnal, our order of service, setting two begins on page 167. If we say we have no sins, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins 
and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins to God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for you and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our intro of today, portion from Psalm 105 and the opening and closing antiphon from 1 Peter chapter 2. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up to salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that He has done, His miracles and the judgments He uttered. He remembers His covenant forever, the word that He commanded for a thousand generations. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up to salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. We sing the Kyrie, page 168. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Could you give me the opening three? Glory to God in the highest, and peace to His people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship You, we give You thanks, we praise You for Your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son, Oh, 
us pray. Almighty God, grant that we who have celebrated the Lord's resurrection may by your grace confess in our life and conversation that Jesus is Lord and God. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever.